So right now I'm talking about how you can make more progress in life than basically everybody that you know using life setup, right? And of course, I'm gonna throw this disclaimer out there. Everyone's their own special snowflake. Progress looks different to some people than it does to others. But right now I'm talking about stereotypical progress, right? If you wanna make more money, if you want to have a job that's no longer soul sucking, but it's actually really fulfilling and makes you feel good about yourself and the things that you were doing. If you want to make your weight go up, right? You wanna build more muscle. These are the kinds of things that I'm going to be talking about. And specifically this video is for you if you are an ambitious young man and you have a vision of B, right? You're at A right now and you wanna get to B, but you're not sure how to get there yet. You're not sure the path to do it. The answer is life setup. And why should you listen to me? If you don't already know me, my name is Luke Grenoble. Um, I'm leading a group of young men to become social leaders and taking people in this gang out of a life of mediocrity and depression and into something a lot more fulfilling and non-mediocre, right? If this sounds like something you want to be a part of, hit subscribe right now. But I know about this because I've lived it. Over the past nine months, I'll just, I'll start with this story, right? Nine months ago, I was living a pretty great life. I was living in Atlanta. If you're in my gang, you already kind of know this. I was living in Atlanta in sales. I had a girl, had lots of really fun friends, right? But I dropped it. I dropped everything. It took this big social L to move back home, right? Now people are like, oh, Luke, you live at home? I'm like, bro, chill, I'm 22. <laughs> but I took this big social L because people look at you a certain way whenever you're like, I'm living at home. I'm a barista. I don't have like this full-time sales job anymore where I'm doing really well for myself, making a bunch of money. People look at you differently. And I'm willing to take this social L because I had a vision. I had that B, right? That point B in my future that I saw. I saw this gang. I saw living the life of a digital nomad. And I said, I'm going to take the job. I'm going to take the risk and do it. And I studied, right? People who had done this before me entrepreneurs, people who had achieved great things in life, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, right? These kinds of people who achieve more than the average person, I look at what they do, how they did it. Every single person, and from every book that I've read about productivity and life setup, I've learned that these people live their lives differently than 99% of people. While 99% of people are living their life day by day as it goes, right? They just kind of take what's coming to them, right? Rolling with the punches. These people intentionally live their life in seasons. And the start to this, the beginning concept that you need to know about living your life in seasons is for one season of your life, having one focus that you are just gung-ho on, right? There's nothing else in your life that matters except this one focus. I got this from, specifically from this book, Essentialism by Greg McKeown. The biggest point that I learned from this, although there's a lot of great points, but the biggest point is that you can look like two, your life can look like two different ways, right? So I drew these two different graphs so you can see. This first one is most people, right? This is their time, energy, and attention right here. And they're having their focuses spread out against different things, right? This guy right here wants to get a girlfriend, so he's spending some time talking to girls. He's spending some time trying to go to the gym and learn how the gym works. He's spending a little bit of time um, in his new job. He's learning how stuff is, and he's making a tiny bit of progress in each of these little things. But if you were like this guy, if you were like the guy who's living his life in seasons, you cut out everything that doesn't matter except for this one point. And you can see he makes a lot more progress in this one singular thing then you would, even if you put all of these little points combined all into one, right? He still makes a lot more progress. He chooses to become exceptional in one thing rather than pretty okay in a bunch. Having a relationship that's all right, it's mid, it's not super rewarding or fulfilling. Having a friend group that goes out for beers once a week versus having a relationship that's really amazing or a friend group that's fucking killer, dude. That you feel like you're living life on the edge with every day, pushing each other to their edge. And you really love these guys that you spend time with. Or you learn a skill that you really wanted to learn forever and you get really fucking good at it. People who live their lives in seasons dedicate part of their life to one singular thing. Because when you do that, you learn everything that you can about it and then you're able to keep it up with a lot less effort than you did before, right? 
Think about driving. If you know how to drive, you know that sometimes it's just like you don't even think about it. You're just at the destination and you don't even realize you got there. But when you were first learning to drive, you spent weeks in driver's ed learning how to do it. And then now that you know how to do it, it's easy. You don't even think about it. What people do who live their lives in seasons is they level up, how to level up this one part of their life until they don't have to think about it anymore. They now know how to be an amazing partner to their girlfriend. They still deal with the stuff that comes up day to day, but they know how to do it now. They don't have to make it a focus in their life. They now know how to make this amount of money online. They just do it kind of naturally. They only really put in a few hours a week. Rather than at the start, they had to learn everything they had to learn about drop shipping or YouTube or whatever business model they took. So the big point of this is having one singular focus. And I'm combining this idea of having one singular focus with this book that nobody is talking about right now, but actually changed the way that I look at goals and setting them. It's the 12 week year by Brian Morgan, right? And this showed you, shows me exactly like when I first read it, it told me how to set up my life goal wise. So that I actually get st stuff done. The big idea was setting up your life in 12 week increments rather than the people who set the, like these big new year's resolutions, right? You see these people all the time who set new year's resolutions and then don't do shit by the end of the year. They're still in the exact same place they were. This is because they forget about it. They don't have the motivation except that one singular burst at the beginning of the year. And then it drops off. And then by the end of the year, they feel shit about themselves. And then they stop making goals to begin with because they're like, I never achieved them anyway. Why even set them? That's a sad place to be, bro. I don't want you to be there. Try setting 12 week goals because when you do this, you have that burst of motivation at the very beginning, right? When you first set the goal and you're really on about it. And then a few weeks in, you're like, oh my God, it's already halfway there. And you get that next burst of motivation. You're consistently motivated to hit this goal. And also 12 weeks isn't that far away. You can genuinely imagine what life is going to be in three months, right? A, a reasonable amount of money to make by then, a reasonable amount of weight to gain or to lose. So setting goals in these smaller increments and having one big goal that you focus on, right, is going to start to make you progress. A lot more progress than you did to begin with. Second, you need to combine this essentialism mindset with elimination, right? You have to eliminate everything in your life that is not contributing to your goal. And this doesn't mean get rid of all your friends. It doesn't mean don't talk to your family, right? It means set up your life in a way where you are happy, motivated. Your mental health is sick, right? You're having an amazing life and you get to work on the thing that you really love. You go on walks, you meditate, you do all of this shit that you want to do. Fun things, put fun things in your life, right? Go on trips with your friends, but you do this because it helps you make more progress to your goal, right? You do it for the sake of doing it, right? But also it helps you reach that goal. The things in your life that don't help contribute to that goal, that don't help you keep your mental health up, that don't lead you to living a better life, you have to cut them out. And sometimes it can be hard. For me, this was really hard because this was music, right? I love music. Bro, I love it. And you can even see, like if you scroll back on my channel, some of the videos further back are about music and are about how I plan to blow up to become a musician in 2024. I completely abandoned that plan and I, I failed. I failed as a musician. It's that part of my life so far. But I did it on purpose because I wanted to devote everything that I could to creating this game because I feel like I'm genuinely changing lives with the things that I do. And I have a vision for the future that I wanna make happen. And I was more motivated and psyched up about this than I was about music, honestly. So this is what I'm doing right now. This is my main focus. You are going to have things in your life that you need to cut out, that you don't want to cut out, right? That feel like they're making you progress, but it's progress in the wrong direction. You're stemming off a little, a new, tiny one of these when you should be focusing on this big one. So you have to cut out the things that aren't adding to your life. And again, I want to stress this. Do not cut out your friends that are genuinely good. Do not cut out your family members that are genuinely supporting you and keep up your mental health, bro. Because the guy with sick mental health in 2024 is a fucking killer. 
the last part that I want you to take away from this is now you have this big goal, right? By the end of this video, I want you to have this big goal, this 12 week plan. Next, you have to cut up this big goal into tiny little portions, right? That's how you do huge things is by cutting them up into daily size bites, right? So from your three month goal, your 12 week plan, set it up into monthly goals, then those into weekly. And then specifically, the thing that you need to have is a daily schedule because a daily schedule does something really powerful. People think it's limiting, but it's actually, it actually releases you from constraints because you don't have to think about what you were doing day to day. On top of that, it lets you be a lot more creative in the things that you were actually doing day to day when you have this set schedule of what you're doing at what time. But specifically, a daily schedule is going to be fucking huge for getting shit done because it makes doing the hard work the default. You don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to psych yourself up. You don't have to say, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to do it. It's just natural. It's just what you do every day now, right? You've done it every day for a week now. It's just habit. Of course, I'm going to sit down and do the work today. I don't have to think about it. Specifically in this daily schedule, you want to set a period of deep work, right? This is another huge book that's helped me figure out how to set up my life in a way that makes me progress is deep work by Cal Newport. But by setting a period of deep work and deep work, meaning you're not distracted, your phone is thrown on your fucking bed, dude. It's on airplane mode, right? Whenever you are deeply focused on one thing and you get to this flow state, you get so much more done in a period of an hour and a half than you like most people do in three or four days. When you can do this daily, imagine how much that stacks. You're going to be fucking unstoppable at this point if you can get your deep work in daily. And you set the amount of time, right? Usually an hour and a half has been proven to be like, I don't, I don't know the whole science behind it, but an hour and a half is what works for me. And it's been proven that that's the amount of time that like your brain can really focus on something without taking a break. But set this deep work period for however long you set it, however long it takes for you to get done what you need to get done. And make it at the same time every day. And if you can't make it at the same time, at least plan out every day when you're going to do it. If you have a schedule like me, right? I'm a barista, so my schedule isn't always the same. But every week on Sunday, for the rest of the week, I plan out when is my deep work block. And I make it happen. The next thing you need to have in your daily schedule is a deep learning block. Because the only way that you're going to continue making progress is if you are a lifelong learner. If you continue taking in new information every day and continue learning things that are going to make it easier and easier for you to hit that big goal, that's how you're going to make more progress. Then the people who are even sitting down and doing the work every day, you're going to make more progress because not only are you doing the work, you're learning how to do it smarter and not harder. And this also means now that work like a job is no longer an excuse because now you can set in your periods of deep work around your job. Whether you want to do it before work and wake up a little earlier or you want to do it after work. If this goal is important enough to you, brother, if this goal means the freedom for you that it does for me, it's worth it. Of course it's worth it. It's going to lead you to living the life that you actually want to be living and not stuck in this hole of doing a job that you hate, of making an amount of money that you don't want to make, of doing something with a college degree that you never wanted in the first place. So get in your periods of deep learning and deep work and work towards this one goal with so much enthusiasm because bro, it is going to change your life. Let me know in the comments down below exactly what you're going to work on and act now, brother, and become unstoppable.